The New England Patriots travel to Cincinnati to face the Bengals in one of Sunday's better games. Cincinnati is currently installed as a one-point favorite on BetDAC 45, the total here. If you're looking for some sort of lock or strong recommendation, you're looking in the wrong place. I've gone back and forth on this particular game several times this week. Tough to bet against New England in situations like this, especially when you boil it down to Tom Brady versus Andy Dalton in a pick 'em type situation. And the thing that the Bengals supposedly had going for them in matchups like this, which was their dominant defense, you look at this game closely and you see, well, you don't even have to look at it that closely to see that New England has actually been paying better defense this season than Cincinnati has. The Patriots only allowing 14.2 points per game. That is fifth best in the league. Now, it's not that Cincinnati's been playing bad defensively. They haven't. They rank in the top half of the league in total defense, scoring defense, passing defense, rushing defense. It's just they, they haven't been quite as good as New England. Now, you might point to New England's schedule and say, hey, they face two rookie quarterbacks, and that's true, E.J. Manuel of the Bills, Geno Smith of the Jets. They also face Josh Freeman, a man who currently has no job. But then last week they went on the road and played the Atlanta Falcons, one of the best teams in the NFL. And truth be told, you could pick apart every team's schedule and make whatever case you want to make. Bottom line is the Patriots have been playing very well on defense this season. And once again, Cincinnati is struggling to generate consistent offense. The Bengals rank 22nd in the NFL in both yards per game and points per game. And that's pretty much par for the course for this team. This is right about where they've been for the last couple of seasons. You look at them, you look at some of their skill position talent, A.J. Green, probably one of the best five wide receivers in the NFL, a good young tight end in Jermaine Gresham, a couple of good backs, Ben Jarvis Green-Ellis, and the rookie Giovanni Bernard. You look at this team and you say, why aren't they better? Why aren't they more explosive on offense? You have to put the blame on either Andy Dalton, the quarterback, or the coordinator, Jay Gruden, Maybe both. I don't know what the problem is in Cincinnati as far as their offense goes. I just know that there is a problem. This is a below-average offense. And against New England, I mean, based on what we've seen out of Cincinnati, not only this season, but over the last couple of years, I don't see why we should expect them to score any more than 17, 21, 24 points in this game because that seems to be their traditional output against a good defense. And will the Cincinnati defense be able to hold this New England offense to fewer points than that? That's the question here. Because even though New England has had problems offensively this season with the injury issues that have deprived Tom Brady of all his reliable pass-catching weapons, the Patriots seem to be getting it together. They played much better last week against the Atlanta Falcons. And who knows? Danny Amendola, Rob Gronkowski, both of those guys could be back this week. That is a situation you'll want to keep an eye on. So, again, this game, pretty much a coin flip. I feel like I've talked myself into New England. However, just have a strange feeling that Cincinnati might win this game. The Bengals are the best team New England has faced this season, and the Patriots have been precariously close to losing, well, really close to losing two of their games, but they almost got beat by the Falcons last week when Atlanta mounted that late comeback. Uh, the Patriots seem to be just gliding by they seem almost to be due for a loss now is saying a team is due is is that a is that a good reason for placing a bet on a team absolutely not and as i said there's no strong recommendations here on this game but we do try to pick one side or the other on every game here at bet tech nfl and i will go with cincinnati as a one-point home favorite over new england on sunday we'll see if that turns out to be right